Hello, the topic for today's session is creating tables using SAP HANA Studio. This is Hassan Mir from 02ProTraining.com. In the previous session, we connected SAP HANA Studio to the SAP HANA database by adding a system and a connection. Now the connection is established. We also took a brief tour of the schemas available and we also talked about a personal schema and we also talked about that we can create new objects in the personal schema. In this session we will create tables so that we can move forward and do some experiments with these tables by inserting some data in the tables. So as you already may be aware that in relational databases data goes in tables. Tables you can consider as storage to store records and each record is representing an instance of the entity. For example, a student table will have multiple records and each record will be pointing to an individual student. A course table will have multiple records and each record will be pointing to a particular course. No two records can point to one instance and one instance cannot be re represented by multiple records. So each record is representing a particular instance of the entity and each table is storing data about a particular entity. Okay, And in generally that is true and some tables are there to store relationship between two entities, many-to-many -many relationship. For example, which student is taking which course. But other than that, each table would be recording information about a particular entity. Okay, so with this information, we're going to move forward. The first table that we will be creating is a student table with columns ID, F name for first name, L name for last name, and date joined. The column types for all these columns would be varchar that can by definition have alphanumeric values in it. The size however for ID column is 3, for F name column is 20 and for L name column is 20 as well. Date joint will be having dates in it but the type is still varchar and the size is 8. The second table is course table with columns ID, name, description and fees. ID column has data type varchar with maximum size 3. Name has varchar type as well with maximum size 20. For description the type is varchar and size is 100. Fees is of type decimal. The column fees will have numbers in it. It cannot contain alphabet. However, numbers would be in format of 6 and 2. So the precision is 6 and the scale is 2. Precision means total number of digits. And the scale meaning only fraction digits. So 6,2 would mean 4 digits could come before decimal and 2 would come after decimal. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4.56 is an example of a number that will go in this column. So 6,2 is very different than 6,0. 6,0 would mean a number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 can go in this column but there will not be any fractions. 6,2 meaning 4 digits can go before the decimal and 2 can go after the decimal. So this is where we left off our previous SAP HANA Studio session. Make sure you're connected to the database expand the catalog node and you will see various schemas and one of that will be your personal schema and expand your personal schema you will see various object types and we want to create a new table so we will right click on this tables node and choose new table next you will see this screen asking you to provide a table name we will enter the table name as a student we can keep the schema as it is and under the type we can choose either row store or column store. For this one we'll choose column store. That means database will store all your records by columns, not by 
rows and I have covered this topic in detail in one of my other videos you can take that we can keep the schema as it is and in the type we can choose row store you have choices row store and column store row store would mean records will be stored by rows and column store would mean records will be stored by columns I have covered this topic in my another video you can take that to find out details this has more to do with the performance tuning this is a small table it doesn't really matter if we are storing well uh, records by rows or by columns okay so we are gonna just select row store for this table now it's time to define the table columns the first column is ID and the data type is varchar if you scroll to the right the dimension is 3 also you can consider dimension as the size maximum size in relational databases it is very important that no two records are same they have to be unique because they are representing different instances of the entity as we have already discussed therefore at least one column is made a primary key meaning it can only store unique values and usually primary key columns are ID serial number sequence number or some other numbers and so on okay and in some other cases there could be more than one column that make up your primary key so they all have to be unique together in this case our ID column is the primary key so we will declare it as the key using this field here the key field okay and if you declare a column as a primary key then obviously it is a not null automatically meaning it cannot contain a null value so if a column is not a primary key you can still declare that as a not null column meaning it cannot contain nothing or null it has to contain a value but primary key by definition cannot be not null meaning it has to have a value and it has to have unique values no two values can repeat we don't want to declare a default value and we don't want to comment this column okay so commenting is for our purpose only we want to write some description what this column is all about and default meaning if you are inserting a record and you do not provide a value for this column then this default value will automatically be inserted providing a null value is not the same thing as not providing a value okay so we'll talk about that later on now it's time to specify a second column here the second column is F name you have to click on this plus sign to create a new space here for the second column this is a column for the table right now each column is added as a record here but in fact this will be a column for the actual table and this is varchar as well with dimension or size 20 and this is not a key and we don't want to provide any other restrictions as well like not null etc and let's click on this plus sign to add third column L name is varchar as well and dimension 20 let's add a fourth column date joint by clicking on this green plus sign we use underscores rather than spaces varchar is the type and 8 is the dimension so we have created this table we can click on this execute button F8 or this the green button by clicking on this execute button a create table command has been issued to the database and whatever you defined here has been executed against the database so actual table is created now so you can just see the message it's successful and it gives you the time in which this command got executed now we need to create another table so I can go back to the tables node and click on this plus sign you can see this student table now let's right click on tables again and select the new table option this table is course this is 
keeping records for all the courses the schema is going to be the same and let's make it a column store table rather than row again it doesn't matter it at this small scale and you can take my other video to find out more about column store versus row store okay so the first column is ID is varchar and dimension is 3 it is a primary key and automatically it's not null as well click on this plus sign the second column is name it's varchar with 20 size let's add third column description and size is 100 type is varchar let's add fourth column fees and the type is decimal you can select that from the pick list and the dimensions are 6 comma 2 where 6 is the precision and 2 is the scale let's click on this execute button or F8 will do the job and this is successful as well now create table command has been executed against the database and the table has been created so in this session you have seen how to create tables using SAP HANA studio you can see both the tables here that we just created